a ratio which tells risk adjusted performance of the portfolio before i come to sharp ratio we'll understand what a risk is in brief and then we'll understand the calculation of sharp ratio how it is calculated so let's say you are going to delhi from jaipur and you have one option wherein a car will run at 100 km per hour and it will take 4 hours 30 minutes to reach to delhi and there is an another car which is running at 120 km per hour and will take only 4 hours to reach if i ask you that in case if you do not have any emergency to reach to delhi which option you would like to go for so 99% will definite people will definitely say that they would not like to take this much of extra risk for reaching just 30 minutes early right so what i'm trying to tell you that people do not perceive their financial or non financial decision only on the basis of gains they have they basically analyze also the what kind of risk they have right so it basically works in investments also and how sharp ratio basically comes into the picture i'll tell you so let's say uh you have very high returns in the portfolio right but you cannot say that if you have very high returns in the portfolio that portfolio is the best that portfolio is doing very well you need to understand that might be that portfolio is giving high returns because that portfolio has taken a very high risk also so sometimes when market will go down the portfolio can make your portfolio negative to a big extent so what matters is the risk adjusted performance and what is risk adjusted performance you love understand right so let's say uh, as i already told you that high risk and high profit it means what that not necessary it is a good investment to do when you are having high profits but you have taken a very high risk also so what is risk adjusted performance and what is the portfolio you must choose will tell you so let's say uh you will always choose a better return fund with same level of risk so i have taken an example where in standard deviation is a measure of total risk of a portfolio let's say a fund a gives return of 20% standard deviation of 14% and fund b gives return of 15% with standard deviation of 14% it means what that fund a and fund b both had same risk but fund a is giving more return with the same level of risk so definitely you would like to go for fund a so risk adjusted performance of fund a is better than fund b again an example you will always choose a lower risk with same returns so let's say fund a gives with return of 20% standard deviation of 18% and fund b gives return of 20% standard deviation of 14% so fund a and fund b in this case are giving same returns of 20% but in this case fund b is carrying a lower risk than fund a because standard deviation is low than fund a higher the standard deviation higher the risk is so if i if i have to choose choose between these two funds who are giving same returns i'll definitely will go for fund b and this is what called risk adjusted performance is so i hope now you must have understood that why it is very very important to analyze the risk with returns otherwise you will choose always you know the investments we are giving you which are giving you the highest returns but they might carry a very high risk also so what is sharp ratio guys sharp ratio is basically uh, was named after william f sharp he was a nobel laureate and uh, it's a measure of risk adjusted return of a financial portfolio so the formula of sharp ratio is return of portfolio minus risk returns divided by standard deviation so uh, you have to put the figures portfolio returns risk free returns and the standard deviation now we will do these uh, some question uh, one question on practical question on this so we will be analyzed a b c d four portfolios on the basis of sharp ratio and your all doubts will be clear so here we have four portfolio a b c d and these portfolio have different returns 15% 18% 20 and 21 standard deviation is different yani for the given portfolios 
the returns are different and the risk is different standard deviation is a measure of risk you can understand the standard deviation in a separate video what standard deviation is all about but from as of now we need to understand standard deviation tells you the risk of the fund so now can you choose a fund directly that no no this fund is better which is giving 20 percent 21 percent which is giving the highest returns might be that fund is giving the 21 percent because it has taken the highest risk also so in these four funds which is number one and which is number four according to the risk adjusted performance this will uh tell you by the risk sharp ratio and the formula is portfolio returns minus risk free divided by standard deviation so how we are going to do it please pay attention so portfolio returns are these risk free is this and standard deviation is this so here i'll calculate equals to bracket open this is portfolio return minus risk free so risk free is constant so i can lock this cell on excel by pressing function f4 or what you can do you can basically put a dollar before and after the alphabet of the cell number then again it will lock the cell so 15 percent is minus five percent divided by standard deviation i'll select the standard deviation now it has become a formula and now i'll drag it so it will work automatically for the rest of the three portfolios so i don't need to do anything right so here i go and we'll see that what is my sharp ratio is right so let's say so these are the sharp ratio of these different four portfolios remember higher the sharp ratio better the fund is and i can tell you the logic also you have standard deviation in denominator if standard deviation is lower it means that you have taken a less risk you can calculate the the returns the result of this calculation will be higher if standard deviation is higher the result of this calculation will be lower because it is in denominator portfolio returns is basically in numerator so risk parameter is in denominator so that's why the higher the sharp ratio is better the fund is or better the risk adjusted performance is so what you can say that 78 percent is the highest sharp ratio this is number one this is number two this is number three and this is number four so if you are asked to judge the best to worst performance of these four portfolios so what you can say the portfolio number c is number one portfolio d is number two portfolio a is the number three and portfolio b is number four so that's how you can rank the portfolio on the basis of sharp ratio hopefully you must have understood the sharp ratio now right thank you very much